what's up guys so we're over here at jr's house uh just gave him the money got everything squared away got the car pushed out of the garage i'm about to show you this thing i did leak a couple photos on my instagram and facebook on the old headshot it is now called aftermath but uh i am gonna do a whole makeover rewrap new wheels uh it's gonna be a completely different looking car when it's all said and done but so we come up here finally got the car JR took all his wiring electronics out, so I'm going to drop it off in North Carolina to have it rewired. Nice build. I'm going to run it for the no time and no prep. But I just wanted to show you all the inside and out. Slink, what you think about the new car? Hey, that thing's nice, man. That thing's real nice. And I'm happy with it. We're going uh, we're gonna to take it over to Justin Elks over at Modern Racing to have the car wired up. But y'all give me one second. I'm going to show y'all the baddest small block in the world. All right guys, so we got right here the baddest small block in the world. Here's my man walking up. Y'all already know I bought the headshot car from him. We're gonna rewrap it, change the color wheels. We're gonna name it Aftermath, he's not gonna. He can have his headshot name, but what's the name of this car you got right here? It's called Jason X. How did you come up with the name Jason X? Uh, just years, me and my buddy used to run a car called Jason, it was his and I was driving it. And then since then it's just it's the name of Jason 2.0 and that thing progressed. It's just called Jason X and the name stuck. I've been riding ever since. How long have you owned this car? We've had this car for about two years now. Now, I follow you pretty well on the small block class and everything. Now, you have told me that you'll run anybody in the world with a small block. That's right. Anybody with small block nitrous cars got action. And we don't like need even, to talk about anything else. Even the, the bad man himself, Ron Rhodes? Yeah, we Ron Rhodes who? Now, you just got done running a big block, which is bipolar. I know he's a little bit slower than everybody, but what happened at that race? Where was that at? Uh, that was at Carolina Dragway. He's got, you know, we got a little 434 peanut in here. So we were about half the motor he had, but um, we just gapped him. I mean, it wasn't no contest. Just, is that what the 434 on the side of the car is? Yeah, the car number? Yeah, we put 434's number to car to the size of the motor that's in it. Cubic inch. It's got a 434 cubic inch small block in it. It's the baddest in the world. It's done ran a couple races. What is your game plan for the rest of the year and going into 2020? Next week we actually run in two more big block cars and we're actually having to give both of them real estate. We got the a small block is giving a big block car real estate. Yep, we got to give them real estate to get them in the ring. So we um, got to figure out a way to win. We plan on doing a um, strong top end charge and coming around them. Hell yeah. So 2020, do you have any plans for the deal? Um, 2020, we're going to take over all small block nitrous racing together. We're coming at them from every which way to the small shootouts to the big shootouts. We're going to um, we're, we're, we're going to dominate in 2020 all the way around. This year, we still will be. We were 2019 small block king, and we're going to be 2020 small block king. And no, no, we were 2018. Let me rephrase that at the end of the year. And we're going to be 2019 no matter what this year again. And then we're moving on to 2020 to total world dominance. Hell yeah. So uh, they got that big race coming up at uh, Lights Out. Or no, it's No Mercy. October. That's right. It's got, I think it's the stock board space, small block class or whatever. That's Are you right. going to get into that? Yeah, either this car or my new car will be in it. One of the two. Um, we're fastly putting that one together. It'll be done by then. But I don't know which one. I'm going to take whichever gun is going to be the strongest for what we're trying to do accomplish so you're basically saying you're gonna go take over that class too yeah we're going to take over that class too but anyways so uh you got the small block here you got jr here he said he'll run any small block in the world he'll even run big blocks too he's out there giving spots right now he's already talking shit to me about the new car that i just bought after math so i'm probably gonna have to crack a skull for him he did beat me last year i decided to get a little mouthy on the internet and gave him what did i give you the back tire and the brake back tire and the brake so for y'all that don't know the back tire and the brake is he gets to line up to the beams in his back tire and he gets to leave whenever he wants i have to react off of his car uh, i think he hit the return road and was back at the trailer before i got to the other end of the track we kicked the tires on the starting line but i'm gonna go ahead and get that race back that here soon matter. it wouldn't have mattered stop it man, you we wheelie back tires leaving you're out a wheelie you, you're a wheelie and i you're i'm gonna done i'm, I'm gonna, gonna get my race on the back tires i'm gonna get my race back here soon so uh 
He's going to go around and keep picking on all the small blocks and all these big blocks until someone with a real true big block gets on his ass. But, Matter of uh, fact, we're going to take out the whole country crew. So uh, the country boy racing, any damn one of them got action. Well, let's go Matter ahead. Matter of fact, y'all put the damn sticker on your car, you got action. That's crazy. I got, do got stickers. I got Swan Gang hats. Y'all can buy those. We got stickers. I got shirts. I got leggings. I got everything. Everything that y'all need, we sell. Uh, JR did just get new shirts. What is it? Jason X. X. So he just got new shirts. Look at those things. You can hit him up. I'll have a link down below of his stuff where you can buy that. It's crazy how fast things have gone this year or over time. I mean, 10 years ago you were racing. Was anything like this? No, it wasn't nothing like this. I mean, heck, even when the economy was turning back around, there wasn't nothing like this. You could, uh, things in the last four years have... Shit, just in the last year has yeah, progressed. Have progressed. It's just the amount of effort and work that's behind the scenes people don't understand or see. They just see the cars on the weekends and think it's easy, but it ain't easy. It takes a lot of um, heart and passion, along with a lot of cash and a lot of time. Now I gotta ask you a personal question. There's a guy up here by the name Mario that hounds that ghost car. Will you run him too? Oh, he's a dud. Like a dud dud? Like dud, man. He's so scared right now, he won't even answer my phone calls. Like, like, he, he- Now y'all yeah, both live in us. South Carolina, right? Yeah, he's untold all the minions to shut up and not even mention the ghost word. Wow. So if you notice you don't see the ghost on the internet, you don't even see them posting pictures about it because I got my foot so far on their throat right now that they they, they quit squirming. They're not even squirming no more because my foot's pressing so hard. They can't even talk or breathe. They they can't do nothing. Now y'all both live here in South Carolina. Well, How far y'all live apart? 50 miles apart. Oh, uh, so y'all y'all could race whatever one any day of the week, any twice on Sunday. We, we rent on track. We ain't got to have no crowd. We ain't got to have nothing. You man. say you don't got to have an event or nothing. You nothing. can just go rent the facility. No, we can rent the facility together and get it on. Man, that's some true grudge racing right there. We just got the car. We're gonna load it up, taking it to North Carolina for modern racing. JR over here gave me a little interview yeah. for his small block class. Uh, he plans on taking things over, I guess. Well, by the look of it, he's already took everything over. It doesn't look like it's gonna change anytime soon. I am gonna crack his ass here in a couple weeks at Darlington Dragway. He's gonna get through his little grudge races and then I'm gonna go ahead and draw on him. He don't know that yet, but we're gonna get some action going. Who builds the motor? Um, EIC Motorsports out of um, Miami. Miami, Florida. Florida. It's Gabby. Um, he's not just a small block guy, he's a big block guy. He's um, the best in the business, man. If you want um, real horsepower, then you gotta call EIC. Team Z Motorsports, and um, the car um, has worked like a dream since we picked it up. Every time we made an adjustment, it does exactly what the adjustment's supposed to do, and the car, um, it'll, it'll hook on a dirt road. That's crazy. So let me go ahead and show you all around. And y'all run on 275s, right? Yep. That's a small tire. You see how he only got single parachute? Because he's really not that fast, guys. And we had um, David Reese actually up, um, did some upgrades to it and redid the um, Reese Brothers. He, he put this carbon wing on and gave me a carbon deck lid. So he does great work also. Hell yeah. And then what's your what's your plan with this car over here? You just got this thing back from the paint, didn't you? Yeah, I got it just back from the paint. It's um, another Team Z car. We're putting it back together. I'm kind of being a little bit ahead on rules. It's actually stock front and stock rear suspension, um, stock firewall. So that way there's no way that they can possibly rule me out next year for world dominance. Not, not gonna happen. They can't rule this car out. So 2020 is gonna be world dominance That's for it. small block. That's right. And we got one more car on the way too. Man, you got cars everywhere. Look at the car back there. He won't let me open up that one. He said that one's top secret. They got cars everywhere in here. I need to move to South Carolina. I'm in the wrong business. Look at all the wiring he pulled out of the car. Dude, I think you, I think the car probably dropped 20 pounds just by pulling your wiring out. I think 50. That's not all of it. It's all in here too. It's all slot full of wiring. Got the big tires and bars. Like I said, we're gonna run a little bit of grudge racing and no time. It's got a big cubic inch, rare Morrison motor. Look at them throttle bodies. Give y'all one final walk around, look inside it. We're about to load it up, head to North Carolina. And then I'm taking my ass back to Florida. Man, South Carolina is the only place I know that has mosquitoes during the day. We got, we got mosquitoes at night, but we don't have that stuff during the day. That's too damn hot. Ours are like 
120 degrees. What you got out there, JR? Man, this is some real high test nitrous right here. This is some stuff. If you don't have it, you're you're already behind about 100 horsepower. This um this nitrous comes all the way from um Mexico. That's way down south. That's right. That's as south as you can go. That's right. If you don't have no damn Mexican nitrous, then you're already giving up 100 horsepower. Look at them things. JR says he puts the whole entire mother bottle inside the car. Yeah, we got a special compartment underneath. Slides right in through the back underneath the wheel. You know, like Fast and the Furious. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you just got to lift the you seat know, up. You know, they, they run out. When they push that button, they run out. When I push that button, it don't ever run out. Just stays rolling. Just stays rolling. <laughs> Hello? Hello? JR, what are you doing? Oh, I got the damn answering machine again, man. I'm trying to... Hey, Mario. Mario. Hey, is Ghost coming out of hiding or what, man? I got this damn money phone right here, and I'm trying to lock you in, but you ain't you won't pick up. Hey, give, give Jason X a call. All right, guys, so we got the car loaded up. We're heading to North Carolina to Justin Elks Modern Racing. They are the one to do all the wiring on my car. I'm going to drop Aftermath off so they can get a wire. We will be picking it up next weekend. I took a final look at everything before I loaded it up. I am very excited that I have purchased this car. Can't wait to get it home, get everything going, get tested, and go to people's ass here soon. I got a couple grudge races locked in, two of them at Mike Hill's race, two of them at Troy Perez Jr.'s race, and then we got No Mercy after that uh, at South Georgia Motorsports Park. We're gonna bring a lot of pain to the no time world, and then we're gonna jump over to Big Tires and Bars and get ready for the No Prep Series, and we're gonna go over there and crack the No Prep Series skull open too. What you think, Slink? I think y'all finna win some money this year. Hell yeah. All right, guys, we just dropped the car off over here at Modern Racing. Justin's gonna wire it this week. This is his new shop. This is the first time I've been here. He was up the road the last two times we've been here. He's wired my last two cars. He does an excellent job. I decided to let him wire the third car too. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna take you through a tour of the shop real quick so I can get up out of here because we're headed back to Florida tonight. Check out this new build right here. He's building this car for X275. This thing's gonna be a nice piece. If you open up that door right there and go out that way, that's where the chassis dyno is gonna be. So Justin's gonna be able to build a chassis, take it over there, chassis dyno. He does the wiring. The shop across the street from him does painting, uh, body work. He's trying to buy that also. He's gonna be, Justin's gonna be your next one-stop race car shop. You'll be able to do whatever you wanna do here. It's crazy, the stuff that's here. Just dropped my car off. We're getting wired, we pick it up next weekend. He's done my last two cars. All right, guys, so we got the car dropped off at Justin at Modern Racing. He's going to knock it out the park for us. When I get it back next weekend, I'm going to go ahead and rewrap it, or Mike is. I'm not going to do nothing. I don't I do not do that compartment. I just work on the motors, 
and uh, tell Mike he can't cut a light. But uh, Mike's gonna rewrap it, make it all look good. We're gonna get ready for testing. Something to eat real quick, cause you know us fat people. What? Oh, we don't skip a meal. Us fat people, we ain't skipping no meal. So we're gonna go ahead and grab us something to eat real quick. Got a, we got a long ride back to Florida. See y'all later.